<laughs> Hi everyone, Paul Richmond here. I am getting ready to pack up basically everything you see behind me and take these paintings on the road. I'm heading to Evansville, Indiana today for an art show that opens tomorrow night, Thursday, March 3rd at the Evansville Museum of Arts, History, and Science. I am so excited to share all of these paintings with everybody. I've been working on them for the past few years. It actually all started when I gathered up a bunch of my friends and we went over to one of their backyards and they covered themselves with mud. I didn't know where exactly that was gonna head, but I figured if my models were kind of messy, maybe the paintings would be too. It ended up being this awesome way for me to be more expressive, to use the palette knife, to use thicker paint, more texture, that type of thing. And as it went along, it really became such a great way to say more about the person than just maybe a straightforward portrait. The colors that I used and the brush strokes and all of those different marks kind of help to evoke a little bit more about who the person is or tell a story, at least in my mind. It's not always completely literal and you might look at a piece and interpret it differently than I would. It was also really exciting for me to get to work with a wide variety of models for this show. Male, female, transgender, drag queens, everything you can imagine. Just really helped me to connect with so many different people's stories and help me realize how much we actually have in common. So if you've been following my work for a while, you've seen the Cheesecake Boys, you've seen some of my political pieces. And, you know, I've done a lot of different types of work so far and that will probably always be the case because I love, you know, being challenged and kind of stretching in different directions. But what I have found through doing this war paint series is that it is really very meaningful to spend a, a large chunk of time thinking about one idea and how it can apply to so many different subjects and to see how the series has evolved since it started. This series of paintings will be on display in Evansville until May 4th. So if you make it down that way, stop by and check it out. And if you happen to be anywhere nearby tomorrow night, come to the opening, everyone's invited. It's Thursday night from 6 to 8 p.m. I'll be there wearing something crazy with all of these paintings and a bunch of my friends. So I hope to see you there. Thank you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe so you get more of this. <laughs> okay. I like it. Good enough.